Do you want to know the five secrets that the winners will never tell you? In this video, I am going to reveal five secrets. And if you follow that, next time you can score better marks for your PSC test if it is conducted in an OMR seat. And before I start, I want to thank you for being here with me in this class and in this video. And if you don't know me, my name is Pradeep Hariharan. I was an assistant professor of English for last uh, 13 years and uh, now I'm on a mission to create future English teachers from Kerala. So let's dive in and see what are they. The first secret, the first secret I want to tell you is that you have to practice a lot. So sometimes you may think, I know I have to practice. So by practice, I mean this. The first thing is that you need to practice in an OMR sheet. So what is OMR sheet? This is an OMR sheet, if you can see this. And remember, this thing can be downloaded from Google. And if you have a printer, you can print it out. So just type 100 questions MCQ and start practicing on this. Because when you get into the examination hall, you we write it on this. And the moment we see, we feel so scared. And we worry if we make any errors. So if you practice regularly on OMR sheet, what happens is that on the examination hall, if you get, when you get this, you feel it natural. And if possible, I request you to invest. That is OMR sheets are available on internet. That is on online, Amazon, just for two rupees. So buy 100 to pay 200 or 250 rupees. So you will get the real OMR. And you know, most of the winners practice an OMR sheet. This I have learned from my personal experience because back when I was writing a bank test, a lady was sitting next to me and I saw her circling so fast, so, so fast. So I asked her, how do you do this? So she said in her coaching center, all afternoons, they do practice and they do it in OMR sheet and that gives them speed. So if you practice regularly on this, believe it or not, next time, you will be able to answer more than 10 to 15 questions, especially if you're writing a preliminary exam, which has a high cutoff above 80 and all, speed matters a lot. So the first thing is practice in an OMR sheet and winners always do that. I'm telling you this from my personal experience. The second secret I want to share is that, tell in your mind while mocking. See, when you are answering, what happens is that first 20 or 25 minutes, our focus will be top on. Then what happens is that maybe we must have reached a 20, 25th or 26th question. So we look at 20, read 25th question and also 26th and 25th answer may be option B and 26th may be C. And what happens is that when we mark on the OMR, we inadvertently mark C for B. So in order to avoid this, tell in your mind that 25 is B, 25 is B. So naturally your hand will take you there. So you have to keep telling in your mind, don't tell it in louder. That's the second thing all winners do. I have done it because it's very confusing to mock questions. Third thing is that winners always practice uncomfortable. What do you mean by that? Remember when you go into an examination hall, think of the situation, there will be, it will be very hot. There won't be no fan. The room may be noisy. I remember when I was writing the exam, next to it, the road work was going on. And you won't believe the noise it was making. So hot, no fans falling. And it was like hell. So I request you, when you practice, turn off the fan, sweat while practicing. And if you haven't slept well, practice next day. Even if you have fought with your spouse or with a child, whatever be your emotion, learn to practice in that manner because you don't know what will happen on the day before exam or on the day of exam. Sometimes you may have to, you may on the way, your bus may meet in a mild accident or you will have to fight with somebody. And if you carry that emotion to the examination hall, you will not be able to write this. So getting uncomfortable will help you to face any situation. Actually, I have learned in one book, Three Alarms, they say that in military, they have a practice in American military that is, which is known as pre-mortem. In pre-mortem, what they do is uh, 
they imagine all the worst things possible before starting an operation all the worst things so what happens is that when they go into the operations most of them will hap not happen so they feel happy so on the day of exam expect all the worst things okay so imagine not then what happens when you go you will able to do that it works i'm telling you and the fourth secret is that uh, practice without a watch remember we are not allowed to carry a watch inside the psc hall so what happens is that most of the time the half an hour bell is not heard i'm telling you this my personal example so after some times we start to feel anxious because we don't know how much time is left so the best thing is that while practicing remove your watch and set an al timer an alarm in your mobile i will tell you what they do is set a timer alarm for 10 minutes and practice and when the alarm rings look at how many questions you have answered so if you continuously do that you will get your mileage mileage means you will know how many questions you can answer in 10 minutes so based on that for example you answer say eight questions so you know that when you complete 80 questions you have completed 80 minutes or when you complete 60 questions you know that one hour is over so that is how you understand the time and that is how you beat the clock so that is the fourth tip they will never tell you and the fifth one is that practice on the same time of the exam for example if your exam starts at 2 o'clock in the afternoon two weeks before the exam practice on that time that is from 1:30 you sit silently and try to practice i'm telling you what happens is that if you do at the same time for two weeks on the day of the examination you will feel comfortable because you have been doing that for last two weeks and uh, that will help you so these are the five important things regarding practice that they will never tell you and when it comes to exam please carry a tissue paper because you know most of the time the desks and desk where you are going to write will be dirty expect that so if you carry a tissue paper you can clean it and when you clean it you feel comfortable while working there and invest in a good pen i have seen most of the pen the ink will smudge don't carry 5 rupee local pen i'm telling you this how investing doesn't mean that i i want you, i don't want you to invest in 1000 rupees you can get a good pen for 10 or 15 rupees try few pens sorry dears try few pens and look which one does not smudge ink and which one is easy to circle which one can give you the speed while circling because that is what matters in that examination hall so carry that and last one hire a taxi is that if you are a breastfeeding mother if you have a child a small child and if you carry it to the examination hall please do hire a taxi and tell the driver in advance that you have to keep the taxi in ac so that the child can sleep because i have seen that uh, the mother will go to exam at 130 before 130 and uh, most probably the candidate's mother will be holding the small baby and you know it is dead hot there this child from 130 to 325 or 330 in stark heat and uh, the only thing is that they can just fan it with a paper or something and i know when you are if you are such a mother when you are sitting inside the examination hall you will never ever be completely present your mind will be on your baby you know that the baby is suffering so invest 1000 or 1500 or try to get a relative's car somebody and make sure that the baby is comfortable because this exam is very important to you and finally look at the value dear winners look at the salary for example If you write VHSE exam, your monthly salary is sixty thousand rupees. That is, in a year, your salary will be seven point two lakh. If you work for twenty years with increase and all, you know how much money you'll be making. If you work for twenty years, two crore rupees. You make the calculation. Okay, so you are writing an exam of your lifetime that worth two crore in twenty years, and I'm asking you. how much effort are you ready to put so look at this exam not as an ordinary exam that you write for a degree but rather as an exam 
that can make you financially stable that can help you buy gifts buy the things for your children your husband your family that can give you self respect and can stand in your own feet and more importantly as a teacher you can help a lot of students like you why should you want them to struggle like you so it is your duty to be a good teacher for that work as hard as possible and follow these steps and next time try to crack it so thank you very much for watching till the end i have some more tips regarding how to read fast how to attempt fast on an oimr exam which i'll share in another video and if you found this video useful i request you to comment below useful because it gives me a lot of motivation to come up with some videos if you didn't find it useful also comment not useful so that i may stop making such videos so i'll see you in another video thank you very much for being here take care bye bye